there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. <laughs> Last episode, Underdog and Polly had been shrunk by Simon Bar Sinister and then chased down a hole. They thought they were safe when... Underdog, look! Quick, see if you can push the rock away from the opening. I can't. When Simon shrunk us, your strength must have shrunk too. Without my strength, I fear we're done. The only thing to do is run. Oh, hurry, underdog, hurry. Down this other corridor. some way out of here. And looking around through the earth with his atomizing eyes, Underdog quickly located the right corridor, and he and Polly were soon approaching daylight. Oh, I can't wait to get out of this awful place. And I'm so hungry. I've got to have something to eat. Look, Underdog, cheese. Someone's left a big piece of cheese right by the opening. Oh, I love cheese. Wait, don't. This trap was meant for rats, not you, so please be careful. Help! When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go.
But at that very minute, Simon was high on a hilltop with his cloud-making machine, ready to send a cloud of pure shrinking water over the city to shrink everyone to the size of his thumb. Will Underdog get there in time to stop him? And if he does get there, what can he do? The answer lies ahead in our next exciting episode. Go, 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 first watch em. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch em. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch em. Go, go, go. Here comes the colonel with his sergeant. Both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch em. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch em. Go, go, go. What's the pick for, Colonel? Just read that newspaper headline, Sergeant. It says settlers pour in a California after gold strike. Exactly. What do you think will happen if you and I discovered gold here in Gopher Gulch? Well, I, I guess if we found gold in Gopher Gulch, thousands of settlers would pour in. Uh, precisely. And those settlers would force the Gopher Indians out of Gopher Gulch. I tell you, Sergeant, if we can't run those Indians out, we'll crowd them out. We start prospecting for gold at dawn tomorrow. Uh, gold. Colonel go looking for gold. Why him do that? We come to the homesteader. Uh-oh. If gold found, more settlers come. What we do? Oh, we lead him, Colonel, on much wild goose chase. Oopie doopie. We have fun. Look, we're in luck, Sergeant. There's a gold mine already dug. But those signs say danger and keep out. Obviously an Indian trick, Sergeant. This is a golden opportunity. Charge! <laughs> Colonel, look behind us. A loaded mine cart. Run for your lives! Uh, up ahead, Sergeant. There's light. A handy exit at the other end. We're surrounded. Call up the reserves. Sound the retreat. No, Colonel, it was just this mine cart on top of us. Working in a gold mine seems to be very dangerous, Sergeant. What did he say? Him say, why not pan for gold in stream like us old prospectors do? Bully! You see, Sergeant, everything happens for the best. Our lucky fall landed us right at the feet of two old prospectors. I don't know, Colonel. Those two look kind of suspicious to me. Nonsense, Sergeant. Regulation 6578934 says... Never look a gift stream in the mouth. And this is the safest stream I ever saw. Nothing to fear here, Sergeant. No runaway mine carts, no cliffs to fall over, no... Oh, obviously. A tidal wave, Sergeant. A work of strange forces in nature. Yes, sir. Strange forces, all right. But, look, all is not lost. It's gold, Sergeant. A trail of gold. Follow me. Mm. Yellow paint work good on rocks. Make them look just like gold. Yeah, Oh, we make big pile of yellow rock fall on Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> Up ahead there, Sergeant, that's it. A giant pile of gold. Yeah! <laughs> 
You all be sure and come around for our next adventure. We'll be uh, waiting for you if we don't get caught in this gold rush. Finoki Swamp, the most primitive swamp in the United States. But, Commander, you've already told... I was in the swamp, searching for the world's largest black snake. <laughs> Traveling alone, I was braving terrible hazards. And finally, my bravery was rewarded. This was indeed the largest black snake in the world. And immediately, we were locked in deadly combat. I had no fear whatsoever of the outcome. My superior strength, as you know. But suddenly, it tossed me into the air. I landed in a deep pit, and the giant snake came crawling in after me. Oh, no, Commander. What did you do? Remembering that this was an American snake, I began whistling the Star Spangled Banner. And, like all true Americans, the snake immediately came to attention. I climbed up the snake, and whistling all the while, carried the critter back to civilization. Now that is a smash ending. Quiet. last episode, Simon Bar Sinister was about to use his cloud-making machine to make it rain shrinking water over the city. <laughs> it's going to rain, rain, rain! Shrinking to the size of my thumb. I'm the biggest man in the world. Uh, what about me, boss? I'm bigger than you. Hmm? <laughs> well, well. So you are. My, 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 my. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Simon says shrink! <laughs> Now I am the biggest man in the world. We're in Simon's control. He can make us do everything. He could step on us. What'll we do? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. What can you do? You got shrunk, too. I'm getting out of here. Me, too. Me, too. Wait. Fair or foul weather, we must all stick together. Now, here's my plan. Shh. There's Simon resting. But how are you going to put him asleep? Watch. Now 
now that Simon's shut his eyes, we can shrink him down to size. And now another dose so he, the smallest in the world, will be. Until he says what the cure for shrinking is. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Let me out. Stop. Stop. We've made you the smallest person in the world, mean old Simon. Now, tell us how we can get back to our regular size again. <laughs> Never. <laughs> and so Simon told them what the cure was. And soon everyone was back again to his regular size, including our hero. Look, up in the sky, it's a plane. It's a bird. It's a frog. A frog. Not plane, not bird, nor even frog. It's just little old me. <laughs> Underdog. <laughs> <laughs>